One of the most remarkable stories I've ever heard is the recovery of a species that was on the brink of extinction just 30 years ago. Now, the Wollamai pine is one story that most people will know a little bit about. 30 years ago, park ranger David Noble was abseiling into a canyon just 200 kilometres north of Sydney in the Wollamai National Park when he noticed these very unusual pine trees. He collected samples and the rest is history. This completely unique group of trees was identified, but only from fossil samples dating back 91 million years ago. Once the significance of the discovery was realised, a concerted effort to bring the tree back from the brink of extinction was put into place. And David Van Berkel took on the role of propagating and growing new trees for distribution worldwide. This is a fascinating story and I think you know we've all heard a little bit about it and fallen in love with it. The location of the Woolamai Pines in the Woolamai National Park is a well-kept secret isn't it? It's a well-kept secret. It's only a few hundred k's from Sydney mm -hmm. but uh, yeah undiscovered for you know millennia. Uh, at the bottom of a cliff sandstone cliff, beautiful little grove yep. and um, yeah, well protected. That little canyon where they were hidden for all those years suggests that they're really old. How long does the tree live for? The tree lives for about uh, 600 or more years and the trees that they found are about 150 to 400 years old. Can they be grown in pots? Absolutely. It's kind of got its own survival mechanisms. It's a really fibrous root ball mm -hmm. and it grows to the surrounds that it's got. So if you put it into like a half wine barrel, you'll get a tree that's probably as big as these samples that we see here uh -huh. and they'll be happy to live like that for 20 years. When they are in the garden and growing, what, what's sort of the maximum height we're talking about? Well, they do grow to about 30 metres, mm -hmm. but that takes 50 to 60 years and in the average garden probably only get to about 20 metres. Okay. It'll start to bubble up and bark at around 10 years yep. old and you get the maturity of it from about seven years old, you start to see the cones. The females first and then the males will come a little bit later. They thought this was extinct for at least two million years. So this is a remarkable recovery story. Yeah, absolutely. And it dates back 70 million years. So, yeah. you know, the dinosaurs were eating it. So yeah. we call it the Jurassic tree for that reason. It's pretty much the only living specimen in the world that dates back that far. Every year, there's only a limited number of trees grown and available. And the latest crop is about to be released. Just a few thousand trees. And if you're thinking you'd like to get one, you really need to move fast to get your hands on them.